How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be taking a look at Bluehost to hopefully figure out if this could be a good choice for you, depending on what you're looking for. And now before we begin, if you guys are interested in Bluehost, you'll find a link that'll give you a special deal in the description down below. Okay, so moving on. Now, Bluehost customer support, strong uptime and affordable beginner plans make it a dependable hosting provider. If you're looking for old fashioned reliability, Bluehost is a great choice. Specifically, if you're hosting a WordPress site, it's earned the title of best for WordPress hosting and WordPress.org itself has been recommending Bluehost since 2005, believe it or not. I also think it's pretty great for photography website hosting if that's your kind of thing. Now, I think Bluehost's strongest pros are dependable server uptime, seamless WordPress integration. Uh, it's got very budget level pricing. Now, a couple of cons is that you will see some additional costs here and there because there are tons of optional add-ons that you'll see in your cart, but you can uncheck those items before you confirm your purchase. And Bluehost doesn't offer huge storage compared to the competitors. But with regards to reliability and performance, it's very dependable. It has great uptime guarantee of 99.98 percent no web host can provide 100 percent uptime of course so 99.98 percent is a strong showing it translates to roughly one hour and 45 minutes of downtime per year that's second only to hostgator which offers 99.99 percent uptime now you have a bunch of web hosting types available uh, you've got shared web hosting, dedicated web hosting, VPS web hosting, WooCommerce, WordPress hosting, shared WordPress hosting, and managed WordPress. Now, most beginners will turn towards the shared web hosting as it's the most affordable option. Uh, but of course, depending on your needs, you can select uh, any of these, uh, whether you want dedicated hosting, VPS hosting, or WordPress or WooCommerce if you're trying to open up your own online store. WordPress offers a whole bunch of features, of course, which will include a domain registration. You have your own website builder and it's super easy and intuitive to use. Uh, you have a very easy to read and navigate cPanel. Bluehost also offers unlimited data transfers on many of its plans. However, Bluehost also provides CPU protection. And depending on the plan you use, Bluehost offers anything from 50 gigabytes up to unlimited storage space for your site files. If all you plan to do is run a WordPress blog though with words and images, uh, then the 50 gigabyte plan will be just fine as it will take a while to use up that much storage, but you can definitely upgrade to unlimited storage, which is always available for you if you would like to upgrade later. Now, if you're new to web hosting or your site isn't massive, then I recommend starting with Bluehost shared or shared WordPress plans. They're the cheapest and still offer a decent variety of features. When your site outgrows these shared plans, however, you can always upgrade to the pricier but better equipped options. And of course, if for whatever reason, let's say you try out Bluehost and you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason, which is very unlikely, specifically because they have very strong customer support. So uh, they have phone support and live chat support, and they have an entire blog that offers just a whole bunch of information. It's a huge knowledge base and uh, you'll find most of the answers to your questions there. But the uh, phone support specifically will hold your hand throughout the entire process until your website is live, especially if you're a beginner. So yeah, the live chat support as well as the phone support specifically is exceptional. But if after all of that, you're still not satisfied with whatever reason, or you'd like to get yourself the refund, you do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try out the service risk free for the first 30 days. Now, the best indication of a secure website is an SSL certificate, which is what you see right here. So this lock right here, this lock symbol means that the website has an SSL certificate, which is secure sockets, which is a short for secure sockets layer. SSL certificates let users know that any information they share on your site will be safe. And again, these certificates are indicated by the padlock icon right here next to the URL. 
Every Bluehost plan comes with a free SSL certificate, so you never have to worry about visitors getting a warning that your site is insecure. For more advanced security, you can also purchase a premium SSL certificate at $49.99 a year. This would be a worthy investment for e-commerce sites or any site where users will be logging in with a username and password and or providing sensitive information like credit card details. Uh, so definitely consider this option if you're opening an online store. Other free Bluehost security features include spam assassin protection, hotlink protection, and secure shell access. Basically, Bluehost includes more than enough security measures to get a standard site off the ground. But if you're looking to scale your site or sell online, you may want to invest in a few extras. And Bluehost offers a lot of additional security measures to choose from but they can quickly add up and increase your bill. So it's important to choose wisely. Another really cool feature with Bluehost is site migration. Uh, doing the migration process yourself is pretty simple with Bluehost because it uses the standard cPanel dashboard. And of course, if you want to migrate your site, add the migration option to your account or get in touch via Bluehost live chat or phone support. Though for $149.99, Bluehost will take complete control of moving your site to its servers. You can actually move up to five websites and 20 email accounts for this price. Bluehost guarantees no downtime in this process and 24-7 support during and after it's complete. For many people, just having someone else own this process will be worth every penny. It's worth noting that this service is not available for reseller, VPS, or dedicated server accounts, so keep that in mind. Not many hosting providers offer such an end-to-end -end migration service, so that's a huge tick in the box for me personally. Though some WordPress sites are actually eligible to be migrated to Bluehost free of charge. Just fill in the form on Bluehost's website once you've signed up. And as long as there aren't any complicated extras, a Bluehost expert will migrate your site free of charge. And this just speaks to how good the customer service is with Bluehost. It's one of the biggest reasons for most people to sign up with Bluehost because of course, you're getting a lot of features. There are even more plugins that you can add to your arsenal to make life easier. And you get a minimum of 50 gigabytes of SSD storage, uh, unmetered bandwidth, free SSL certificate, uh, one domain included, five park domains, and 25 subdomains. And the higher tier plan you get, the more options you'll have available to benefit from. But overall, Bluehost ranks very well for customer support, uptime, and value for money. It's also hands down the best hosting provider to manage a WordPress site with. So at the end of the day, it depends on your site goals. If you're looking for affordability, reliability, and a whole lot of value for money, then Bluehost is a solid provider. So that's pretty much it for this review. If you guys are interested in Bluehost, again, you'll find a link in the description down below that'll drop the prices even more if you guys are interested. And keep in mind that Bluehost still offers a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason. So thank you guys very much for watching. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. And stay up to date with everything web hosting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.